Hi everyone and welcome to iSimplify Tech. In this video I'm gonna show you how to change your Kenwood head unit boot screen. This tutorial works only for newer Kenwood receivers with 6.8 inch high definition screens such as DNX9 series, DDX9 series and DMX9 series. So in order to be able to set this up, you will need a USB flash drive. The whole process is not complicated and it's pretty straightforward. You just have to copy two files on the USB flash drive. One of the files is gonna be a text file and the other one is gonna be the image for the boot screen. And don't worry, I included those files in the description of this video. Alright, so we need to make sure the flash drive is in the FAT32 format. If you don't know how to format the flash drive, I will start showing you on the Mac first and then I will switch to Windows. Start by plugging the flash drive in the USB port of your computer and then go search for the Disk Utility app. Then select your USB flash drive and then click Erase. So open the format list and from this list you have to choose the MSDOS. Don't worry, the MSDOS FAT32 is gonna be grayed out, but this is basically the same thing. Now it should take only a few seconds to format and erasing your flash drive. After everything is done, you can uh, go ahead and close this window. For the Windows users, you need to right click on your flash drive and then format go to file system and choose FAT32 from the list, click start then click OK and should take a couple seconds and then everything should be erased and good to go. In order to make the image display properly on the head unit we need to create an image in a specific file format which is gonna be bitmap or BMP and this can be easily created with any image editing software. In my case, I will use the Adobe Photoshop. If you are just looking for a boot screen with your car emblem or logo, then I got you covered. You can skip this step. I already made the image files with pretty much all the car brands. Those are ready to use. Just copy the folder contents from the desired brand name straight to the flash drive as shown in the step 3. I included the link in the description, so feel free to check them out. Right, so let's start creating our image and uh, we will uh, do the following size for the width is going to be 1377 pixels and the height is going to be 720. Then click OK and this composition is going to open right here and um, in my case I'm going to take the Mercedes logo, I have a wallpaper which uh, sometimes I use this as a wallpaper so I'm going to create from this wallpaper my boot screen for the car but you can feel free to insert or drag and drop any image you want. Now the next step is to resize the image but make sure you don't skip this step otherwise your image gonna look stretched on your head unit. So let's go to image then image size and then change the width value to a thousand 280 pixels. If the height value changes at the same time when you try to change the width value then deselect that chain icon. Now go ahead and click OK and you will notice the image looked a bit shrinked right now but don't worry this is gonna display properly on the head unit. Now let's go and save this file and pay attention to this we need to name this image image1. Make sure you use this name, otherwise not gonna work. Then go to the format and choose BMP. Click save. And here on this window, click on advanced mode. Now, if you don't use Photoshop, make sure your image editing software can save 16-bit with the values of R5, G6, and B5. And again, it needs to be 16-bit with the values of R5, G6, and B5. Then click OK and uh, double check the image you saved. Now that we have the boot screen image ready, we need the other file, the text file called Opening Customize. You can find it in the description link and we have to copy those two files on the flash drive. Just copy and paste them or drag and drop them. 
Now, if you're using my files, I already included the text file in the folder. So just to pick the desired brand and then drag and drop the contents on the flash drives. You don't have to do this, but if you were wondering what's inside this text file, it's just a small script that will tell the head unit to change the boot screen. You can double check the file name matches your image name and everything should be okay. If by any chance this was not going to work for you, and you want to switch back to the default boot screen of the head unit, all you have to do is change this version number to 0004 zeros and then save the file. This is basically it's gonna restore to the default boot screen of your head unit. Next step is to connect the flash drive to your Kenwood unit in the car. Then power up the unit, tap the icon mode and let's look for the standby mode. Tap on the standby and then we have to double tap the top left corner, double tap the bottom left corner, one tap on top left, one tap bottom left. And you're gonna access this secret menu. Look for the opening customize and tap on it. Should show a blue screen with an OK on it. That means everything went smooth. Uh, you can go back and uh, restart the unit to make sure your boot screen is all set up. If by any chance you get the red screen instead of blue, that means something went wrong with the image, like wrong size or something. But as we can see, the boot screen works and everything should be fine. That's it for this video. I hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will reply to you.